Hi there smart monkeys and welcome to my channel. This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters. I post videos Tuesdays and Thursdays so be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button if you want to know when I post any new videos. So this is going to be a little bit of a different video uh, for you guys today. Um, one, because I know the great 12s are currently on holiday and I know that very few of them are even watching any of the videos at this stage. So I decided I was going to post a video on mathematical literacy and the myths about it and the lies about it um, that I want to clarify with you guys. And, you know, normally in my classroom, I always have these times where, I mean, now in my actual classroom, I would always have these times where I would just speak to my students and um, just speak to them about you know, life. And I decided that every now and then I would like to, you know, do the same in my virtual class. So you will see these type of videos um, come up every now and then uh, for me to chat to you guys um, and bring you into just what it is really to be in my actual classroom. So I want to start by saying that there is so much judgment and you know about the subject you know mathematical literacy people generally you know associated with you with the fact that you can't do maths so that's why you're doing mathematical literacy and i get so annoyed with people who say that because once you know the subject and once you've taught the subject and once you see a correlation between what you're doing in the classroom and what is actually happening in real life. I feel like this is one of those subjects that is actually going to be benefit you in your day-to-day -day life. Um, just like just the other day, I went to visit a friend abroad and, you know, being able to do exchange rates and knowing what you're paying for, you know, I could quickly do the LVN method in the shop whenever I wanted to buy something. Um, and also a while back, I tiled my house and I could work out exactly how much, what the area was. I could work out exactly how much tiles is needed. I, I knew exactly what to buy so I didn't have to waste any money. And I mean, guys, these are skills that are so cool to have. Yeah, and so to hear people speak negatively or in a condescending manner to people who do mathematical literacy annoys me. Um, I am actually a maths graduate and actually a maths and maths lit teacher. So I actually have exposure to both. And I really think that, you know, mathematical literacy really gets a bad flack unnecessarily. And I think that we can give the subject a little bit more respect. And for me, it's like, it's not so much even really what people say about people who take the subject but more how students feel. That's what I care about. And that's why I'm making this video. How do you guys feel that take this? You know, do you feel like you are less smarter than someone who takes pure maths, you know? And I want to give you guys just this reassurance that this subject, you know, does not close doors for you. You know, I always see it as you've got a maths door and you've got a maths lit door and there's opportunities behind both of these doors. So just because, you know, some people think, oh, when you do maths, you are now smarter, etc. They have their door and the opportunities for them. But that doesn't mean that you guys don't have any opportunities. I like the subject because it prepares you for real life. But also there are many qualifications that you can get with mathematical literacy. Yeah, so this is my video just telling you guys that, you know, I want you to go forward in your lives, not feeling like you were limited because you did maths lit, not feeling that you are less than because you did maths lit. So many times I hear people, even at my age and adults, that took maths and, and at that time we didn't have mathematical literacy, we had math standard grade. And you can hear them say, you know, Ugh, I always did math standard grade, so please excuse me, but I can't do this calculation. And I don't want you guys 10 years from now to say, oh, please excuse me, I took maths lit on school, so, you know, like, excuse the fact that I can't do maths. No, that's not the case at all. Like, 
you can do maths, you can do numerical calculations. And, you know, I don't want you to think that because you're taking the subject that you are less smarter than anybody else or that you cannot make a success of yourself. Um, yeah, and that's actually all I wanted to share with you guys. I think this would have been a lecture in my classroom where I would have told my students, you know, get what people, what people think, you know, you are in control of your destiny and you are in control of your life. So make the choices for yourself that you want. Whatever you do, like do your best. Like if you're taking mathematical literacy, do your best, give it your all, give it your everything. And I can promise you, I still have university students that come to me and say, ma'am, your, 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 your uh, videos have really helped me. I'm still using them, you know? So it's like, it's not just something where you're just trying to get your matric certificate and then it's done. You're actually really learning cool skills that will help you in real life. So that's me and that's this video for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video where I will actually be teaching you some maths. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Bye.